Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. If you guys remember last year, we took Northern Pike and we made poor man's lobster, um, a recipe that there was a video on it and it turned out pretty good. Uh, this year I want to try something different, or today I want to try something different. We've been catching Northerns out there ice fishing again, and I kind of got a neat little idea and I'm going to give it a try. So this time what I'm going to do is I found this at the store. I've never tried it before, this barbecue shrimp sauce mix. Uh, I have to change it a little bit. I don't have five pounds of shrimp. I'm going to end up with maybe two and a half pounds of fish here. So anyway, we're going to make this up and see how it tastes. First thing I have to do is clean up this six and a half pound northern that I caught ice fishing. Once I get the northern pike filleted, I got to remove these Y bones. Okay, so once that's done, we are left with two nice boneless northern pike fillets. I'm just going to cut them up into pieces. You know, usually we're doing shrimp, so we're going to want a bunch of little pieces for this. The directions for this say to uh, four sticks of butter, a cup of water, and the sauce mix. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is just two sticks of butter, half a cup of water, and half of this package because, um, like I said, I've only got about half of the weight. Okay, so now I've got the two sticks of butter, a half a cup of water in here. We're going to add in one half of a package of the New Orleans barbecue shrimp sauce mix, which I have right here. We're going to bring that all up to a boil and then let it simmer for five minutes. Tell you one thing when you open that up and that dust gets in the air, do not breathe it in. Oh my gosh, I can't stop sneezing. Okay, so while that's simmering, we're going to take the northern. I'm going to lay it. You can put it, well, like I said, this is supposed to be shrimp, but we're doing it with northern. You can go up to two layers thick, it said. Next thing we want to do is we want to preheat our oven to 375. Okay, after it's simmered for five minutes, we're going to pour even amounts on each pan. Okay, so now you're going to put it in your oven, or for this case, the roaster oven. I'm going to put that in there for 20 minutes, but we're going to mix it up several times. Okay, so there it is all done. Now all we have to do is give it a taste test and see if that was worth the time or not. Okay, now let's see if this is worth it or not. Actually, that's better than poor man's lobster. <laughs> okay everyone, well that one was a winner for sure. So if you guys have that seasoning, and I bought that at a big box store that most all of you have around where you live so that was really good another great way to make northern pike that's different than what most people do thanks a lot for watching guys see you next time i'm wondering if you can try this it's a new it's northern that we caught when i was out fishing yeah and that's this louisiana um barbecue shrimp seasoning and i thought it was really good mm, it smells good let's try it because remember i did the poor man shrimp last year mm-hmm I really like that. I do too. I thought it was better than the other stuff even. Mm -hmm. And this is a different kind than the other stuff? This is something I bought in the Just store. Just something you bought. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I think it's really good. I do too. 
All right, there you have it, guys, a second opinion. <laughs>